dark. To be honest, like one of my one of my favorite configurations to bring out was Thane and Samara, just because I liked hearing their voices. Pew. I think I was thinking about it the other day. I'm wondering if certain crew members actually. Um, if they work out better with others, like if there are certain pairings that work better and depending on what kind of character specialization you are too, maybe, but maybe it is just pairings. Like, like when I had Garrus and Thane, like Garrus was dying pretty fairly frequently. Um, but when I had Garrus and Grunt, Grunt was dying all the time. But when I had Garrus and Thane, like they are Grunt and Thane, they like never died. Like it was great. But, um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if certain, like, uh, Kasumi and Thane, they were really, they worked really well together, you know? Um, so it's just kind of, kind of curious. I know, it's two biotics, but I have an energy drain, so, oh, and wait, it doesn't actually matter. Yay! This is one of, Samara's is like Thane's in that you don't actually, um, fight anything. Yeah, we'll give you throw. Perfect. Yep. Let me save really quick. Oh, this is it gonna be save number one hundred? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's ready. Let's see, does he Does Ed say it again? Oh, oh let me pick up Zaid. Okay, well she, he, she said to go talk to Arya though. Um, yeah. I don't think there is. Oh, hey, one of those taxis just took off. I haven't been here in a while. She's here or not. Yeah, some, someone was telling me that she doesn't even show up in Mass Effect 3. Like at all. Like, don't drink on the job. Yeah, okay. I heard about this. <laughs> Clearly, a lapse in judgment. I hope it was worth it. I don't feel so great. What's going on here? <laughs> you ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Who are you? Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you Okay, can. I don't, I actually, I, I heard that something happens if you tried to order a drink at the lower part of the bar, but I didn't know it was this big. Holy crap. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive. Whoa! Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Ugh! That's not okay! Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. 
Samara. A lapse in judgment. I hope it was worth it. Return to the bartender and confront him. You're darn right. Uh, so did that guy, Henner, help us out? I'm sure Samara and Thane would be completely capable of taking care of it themselves. But they might actually murder everybody. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> person is dead. Wait. Who is that? What is that? Oh, it's a Batarian. Okay. I thought it looked like a Quarian for a second. I was like, oh my gosh! You don't see those very often, like, just out and about. Or dead. You don't see, unless you're, like, in a Quarian area. Why are all the Batarians dying? The market? Hey! The dad. Freaking heck, how do I get back to the lower part of the bar? Am I just like totally missing it? As usual. Poor Garrus. Is this the lower? Oh, it is. Oh. Hey, guy. Hi. I'm alive. Do I know you? No, no. Humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. Inside the crowd? What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Whoa. Answer the damn question, Forban. You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Bartenders are the same or something. They are not all created equal. You gotta poke everybody you can poke. Um, I wanna go talk to Arya. Arya, 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 Arya. Okay, here we are. Oh, he popped out right underneath. Flames and fire and damnation. Hey, Grizz, what's up? Nothing to see here. Okay. Arya. I got poisoned in your bar. What do you need? She'd be like, well, that sucks for you. Really? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardot Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Okay. 
Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. I would think she would want to get rid of an Ardat Yakshi. I mean, like, that does seem a little bit weird because... I mean, I think... Eh, Arya kind of comes off as a person who doesn't react unless something is done directly to her. Um, she's not like protecting the people, she's just the most powerful person here. But at the same time, I would think she'd want to take measures. And maybe she had, maybe she's just acting indifferent and she actually like is taking measures, you know? But like, how would she know if she hasn't tried to seduce her yet, you know? Like, would she know the Ardat Yakshi if she saw her? Oh, yeah. I think I talked to them before, but I didn't end up doing their, their thing. Let me poke the mad prophet again. Indeed. We just, just can't stop us, man. I love the, like, screenshots, or screen caps, or whatever over there. You are blight, and you, and you. Ready, Smara? Oh, you just popped into existence. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago, and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered, too. And I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. This is a very sad story to me. I don't know. Like, I think I see... I see too many people in Neff. You know, I see bits of myself. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My Neff had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. I think Samara... You, you could say Samara is cold, but in that moment, like, she, she's, she's seeing herself in this mother in a way. Like, she's seeing the loss of her child because more, or Samara lost her daughter. She's, they're, they're not dead. They're alive. They weren't murdered, but they were taken from her. They were ripped from her just by a condition that she couldn't prevent. And she's also seeing this as her fault that Morinth is still out and about. She made Morinth. She, she, she's her daughter. But she also gave her the Ardat Yakshi. That's how she sees it, you know. And, and she's an Ardat Yakshi because of Samara or whatever. And and Samara hasn't been able to bring her to justice, and you know. And so the more she just keeps killing people. And I think before I was when I when I went to go get and Zaid from here, I was like they were like, oh, the death toll is so large. I was like, holy crap! Like has she killed so many people? But I realized when I was editing it that it's because. Um, uh, the death toll in Omega is just high in general. 
So it's not necessarily an Ardar Yakshi's going around murdering people, but it's impossible to try to track a rash of murders in a place that is based gets like rashes of murders every day, you know? Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. And, you know, I don't know. I tend to be a bit of a recluse, and, and I do, I enjoy, I enjoy sketching and stuff, and so just kind of, you know, that's like the reclusive artist thing, it kind of like hits home, like, and then I know most of my friends are that way too, you know, and so it's just like, it's not like that extreme or anything, but it's just like, what, what Neff was experiencing was sort of the Cinderella story, she found someone who seemed to, oh, like, as soon as they met, they like clicked, you know, and it's, it's because of what Morinth, Morinth was able to manipulate her, and it's like it seemed like a dream come true that she was living this lifestyle that she'd only read about or romanticized, and Morinth was like the prince or the queen, you know, like come to take her and show her this wider world, and she appreciated her creative nature and everything, but then in the end it destroyed Neff, you know, so it's, it's, the, it's the other side of the Cinderella stories that the person who is you think is the one taking you out away or taking you not taking you away but like just who appreciates you for who you are and your work and your personality and can see past the shyness or whatever is the person who's gonna hurt you the most at the end you know what I mean so it's just a bit do you mind if I examine Neff's room scary I didn't want to disturb anything her clothes her art her sculptures everything is the way she left it the way it will always be. My baby is gone. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. Mm. I'll examine her things. <laughs> uh, Morden's like, or blah, 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 blah. Uh, Tomorrow's like, we will be respectful. And I'm like, well, we'll go after our things. No statue. Well, what, what would we read for? Probably look at the statue first. Some gallery offered me four years' salary for it. But I'd never part with it. Probably one of the last things she made. It looks like she's got some pills. They, they could be pills or like liquid or something. I wonder what the SM4 is. It's like one of the, it's like the logo on the paper or something. Not a lot of room to work in here. This is like, this. Is, oh, she got like a freaking toilet and a sink in her room. Freaking, I wouldn't want that. I guess, I mean, that's maybe how apartments would be here, though, is, like, they just keep it all, like, as tight as possible, you know? There's not, like, it's not like a two-bed, two-bath. It's, there's two rooms, and in those two rooms are the bathrooms and the place where you sleep and eat and everything. <laughs> this is kind of hidden on the side of her bed. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait. To hear what you think of Forta. Somebody who would encourage you like that, who would encourage your creative nature and expose you to other creative things, like, it's a dream come true. It's, it's a dream come true. And in this case, it was a nightmare. Read the, Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary, cycle 34, orbit I don't think I'd want to, like, have to stare There's at myself. To talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. It's also a very awkward angle because she's lit from the bottom, like from her computer, but it's like her face looks very kind of strange. 
Um, so it turns out it wasn't that Morant sought her out. It was that this girl actually was probably interested in this life. And I, I can I can see that. Right? I can understand that being interested in this like high like high life or whatever this like uh, club thing you know and it's like i you know i could see that because it's like oh like in the movies or whatever it's like really cool and like fancy or like fun and like sensual or whatever but like in real life it's just a bunch of people dancing around and all sweaty and gross and people are weird and it's just like you you know but for her, she had the, the dream or the Hollywood thing, you know, where it's like the one person in the world who recognizes you for who you are is there. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the helix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me... With a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Interesting. It approaches that, uh, the idea that, you know, falling in love with someone of the same gender is, you know, she grew, like, like a lot of people, she's grown up perhaps with the idea that, like, heterosexuality is the norm, and anything else is a deviation of that, but she, and so she's kind of struggling with that a little bit. Because it, 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 if you start, if you, I, I would assume, if you start feeling attraction for someone of the same gender, like, if you've grown up with a heteronormative mindset, like, which most people have, including myself, it's like, you know, you're kind of just like, whoa, wait, wait a second, like, this goes against everything I've ever known, or this is a completely new territory, you know? And so she's, she's struggling with that, but, you know, she's able to overcome that and find true love and I wish that this was a happy story. I wish it was. More than anything, I wish it was. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous like the women in Vienna that Vic Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. See? It's just, it's painful. It's painful to see. And Shepard has to be seeing that, you know? I don't think she's had, she's not a recluse or whatever. She's a leader. She's a commander. But I think she can still see that. And you have to wonder what Samara is thinking back there, too. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. How does she do her that? Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. Interesting the way she you talks about her. And unarmed. What? Uh, what? I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup. Thane. I will be in the shadows Thane. watching Shepard. So will Thane. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. I think it's it's so interesting that like. How, like, how does she know about, like, the scent and everything? Does she hear about this, like, secondhand from, like, people who have survived? Or does she just, does she just know? Like, how does she know exactly? Hmm. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me. I think it's interesting. But she won't be able to resist you. Why? You know? You are an artist on the Okay, that's field. true. <laughs> you have the vital spark that attracts her. 
your power will draw her in. It's interesting that we don't like try to like make somebody else do it. It's like she's just automatically like, you, Shepard, you will do it. And I'm just like, wait, what? Why me? <laughs> but I guess Shepard has something that draws people to her, and that might that would probably be like a moth to the flame for Morinth, you know? In some ways. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Okay. You gonna be all right? Thane's just standing over there. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. We'll be okay. We'll get her. We'll help her. We'll, we'll avenge her. We can't help her, I guess, but we'll avenge her. The end is nice. I believe it's up here. It's interesting to think too, like in your head, like it's not gonna happen because Thane just disappears in the cutscenes, but you know, he'll be in the shadows too, watching, you know? Making sure nothing goes wrong. What do you want? What's behind this door? VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? Uh someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. That still works. Work to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Cool, cool. Thanks, guy. That's good to know. These are good investments, the passive talent. Increases the persuade and combat abilities. I noticed when I rewrote my points that my, my paragon went down a lot. Oh, I should have worn my dress. I love that this is freaking. She's over there, like, hello! You must remain alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. Shepard isn't I'll exactly subtle! And when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Eh. Alone? <laughs> Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That'll require careful timing. I will be near and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me as I trust and honor you. Uh, and like Samara, like, she just, you're like, yes. Yeah, like, she would do what she has to to get Morinth, but I trust her. Like, like you can't, like, I don't know. Like, it, I don't know. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could <laughs> affect her. Hurt Courage or defense, suicidal she'll bravery. Be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. Okay, is, I remember she will this. She the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Okay. Okay, I remember. There's several ways you could go about this. Okay, okay, okay. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Okay, okay, okay. You need to remember that. Okay. Show subtlety at working a night crowd, or show courage, but not, um, chivalry. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing right. on a drug called Halix. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forte. I think he gets brought well, up. Shepherd, that's everything we know. Okay, I think I think he comes up in Mass Effect 3 a little bit. Um, okay, okay. Let's get started. Okay! Shepherd. Get one chance at this. Any mistake, and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And I will stay here. Thank you. I do not share this burden. She's easily, the one who approaches this time. You are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Ah, interesting. Um, because before when I tried to reach forward to console her, or to uh, not maybe not console, but oh, does she have like? Oh no, okay. That was, that was weird for a second. Um, before when I was like, I'm so sorry, I tried to reach towards her, she backed up and refused that that connection, but 
Um, this time she was the one to reach forward and touch me. Save! Yeah, we can save under that. Okay. Okay. Woo! Hey! Ah! Freaking, I'm gonna get a drink, man. <laughs> 